The focus in this drill is to keep your eyes on the ball at all times while recovering back to the middle. Often players in a game don't have enough time to fully recover back to the tee and they will need to change direction prior to getting back to the middle. This will only work if they keep track of the ball at all times and be able to change direction as the opponent hits the ball. A two wall post coming off the opposite side wall is a good shot to choose as it gives students time to recover back to the middle to a great degree. Using random mode further reinforces the notion of having to watch the ball at all times. Players need to learn to watch the ball right after the contact on their way back to the middle. It's crucial against very good volleyers as you have little time to react. The volleys tend to be hit before you had a chance to fully recover back to the middle. Using random mode is a great way to further reinforce the notion of watching the ball at all times. The interval settings need to be low enough that for a number of shots students will not be able to fully recover back to the tee. Another great way to force students to watch while they recover back to the middle is to use the remote control. This will allow you to shoot balls while students are still recovering back to the tee. To make the drill realistic students should play a cross court to where the squash cannon is sending the next ball from. Players will get a much better rhythm if they're getting good at watching the ball consistently. It's crucial that players keep watching while they recover back to the tee. Quite often they don't have time to fully recover and they might only be able to recover up to this point before your opponent hits the ball. Still using random mode, decrease the interval settings to add some pressure, with students only being able to recover back to the T about 50% of the time.